What's up, everybody? JJ here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release day, guys. 2023 Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition 12 box case. Bigger Cheese number one just sold out, guys. Got at least one done. <clears throat> and here we go. So there's the list of names. Excellent got the last three, including the Phillies last ball mojo, which are one of the biggest teams remaining. <clears throat> Let's get a big hit for him. So I was off the last couple days, but I had a call off yesterday because I was under the weather. Feeling a lot better now with some antibiotics. So back to the work grind. And uh, I mean, unfortunately, I'm still going to sound a little sick, but don't worry, guys. My strap is no longer contagious or anything like that, so that's why I'm back. <clears throat> Alright, so 12 bucks out, you get two autographs per box, guys. <clears throat> I think Salas, though, is the big, big prospect of them all. I think under the Padres, I believe. This stuff is going for insane money right now. And then I think the Orioles have some good stuff again. Obviously, you still have chances of rookie stuff, too, so that's kind of the beauty of it. So I'll rip the first six, we'll go through the six, and then we'll go with the next six after. Magic boxes. <clears throat> I've not heard of that. All I've been seeing though is that it looks like the Babe Ruth, the Roberto Clemente cards, and the Johnny Bench, you know, first have all been the top card on a pack, and in the same pack, there's been an autograph. This is what I've been hearing. So we'll see if that plays true if we ever hit one. There's been a couple of orange ones to, to surface already. Which remember, there's a $200,000 bounty for the Babe Ruth Super Fractor. So good luck to Matt Smith and the Red Sox.
weren't given like a sleeve top load all checklist <clears throat> for players yet, so I mean if I miss some, don't worry. I'll make sure the shipping team or sorting team gets that list. Usually Nick kind of provides it. Obviously we wish we could sleeve and top load every single card, but it does add up. But uh obviously we'll do our best to try to get some of the bigger ones sleeved and top loaded. So I know Salas is a big one. There's a couple of them. There's a couple of these prospects in here that are making their first debut. These are like in the top 100, I believe. And I think they're... Oh, there it is right there. Nick just said it. Ethan Salas is by far the best. Padres, Brandon, uh, Maya for the dog, uh, for the Yankees. Jo uh, Joandri Vargas. Uh, Flennon for the Mariners. Basilo for the Orioles. Raymer Urias for the Giants. Amongst a couple of them. <clears throat> who, who does he play for, Derek? Here we go, guys. Let's see what we got here. We got D'Angelo, Sarmiento, purple, to 250 for the Mets. First autograph there, Blade Tidwell for the Mets. <clears throat> Mets is Tom. We got a Wilbian Francesca, Shimmer. Jacob Berry, out of 125. It came to the league, Yoshida looks nice. And here's another autograph there. Hans Montero for the Yanks. Davison Gutierrez to 4.99. Process. There's that guy right there, right there. That's when you're talking about. Gotta get an autograph of him. The shimmers, I think, are not numbered. Riley Green, and came to the league. Autograph here, refractor John Silk Shim. We got Gabriel Moreno, number 100. Joey Votto, out of 299. And Miguel Blaez, he's a top prospect I remember for the Red Sox, out of 50. 
And then Samuel Basalo. He's one of the top prospects here that next day will sleeve in top load for most of the stuff. Nice one there for the uh, Orioles going to Joe. Delgado for the Yankees to 250. Gavin Cross is to 499 refractor. Ezekiel Tolwar insert there. All right, next box. Francisco Lindor, Puerto Rico to 4 dollars That's sick. They have those in here. Joel Diaz. Luciano. We got a Michael Arroyo. It's like purple red to 199 Like a grape color. Jackson Holiday. And we got a gold to 50. Luis Perales for the Boston Red Sox. Red Sox win a match, man. Vladimir for the Rockies. Out of 150. All right, let's go to the next one. Corbin Carroll came to the league. We got Flennon. Uh, He's a top prospect there for the Mariners. Mariners, that's going to a big dog. Emmanuel Bonilla first. Yeah, this dude was like born in 2006. Isn't that crazy? At a 99, I think he was like a 16 year old last year stuff. Or last, a Bowman. Crazy. Nolan Jones. And we got Miguel Tamaris to 150 for Tampa Bay Rays. Tristan with that one. Camilo Diaz. He's one of the, uh, the top tier ones for the Astros. Second or top tier. There he is again in a speckle. To 299 this time. Alright, two more boxes and we'll rip the next six. Yu Chang. To 499. Jun. Seok Kim. Or Shim. Jacob Rammer, out of 99 green. Luis Serna for the Yankees. Going to Matt Smith. Jonathan Mejia. I don't know if you've seen Rex earlier, he actually said can you scroll up? He literally said that whenever Triple Threats come out, he's going to pay you. All right, here we go, next one. The Stuart Ruiz. Luciano. Yossi Galan. Purple to 250. Jordan Walker. Matsutake Yoshida. I don't know if that's a variation though. Is there variations in this? But it's out of 499 though. Dominguez, there's a fall leak. Uh, 
Wait, does that one have any autos? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I feel like I'm missing autographs. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing autos, aren't I? It's supposed to be two in each box, right? It's supposed to have 12? One, two, six, seven, eight, nine. Did we get shorted a couple? I know we definitely got shorted here. <clears throat> Interesting. Thank God you're here. I know, I'm gonna break all the bowling today. <laughs> you want the big hit, huh? Yep. <clears throat> yeah, definitely much better today. I don't think that last one had any autos either. What the fuck? Excuse my French. Yeah, we're missing three autographs. El Paso promo where you buy. Uh, any participating products, you upload the receipt to the site and they give you the RL Fanatics for any apparel. Well, usually Tops is good with missing autos. If there's some missing in a box, usually they're in a different box. So my hope is that there's some over here, but I haven't heard of anybody saying... I haven't heard of anybody saying that these have been bad with missing autos. But, I don't know. I mean... Let's see if we'll find out. And I'll go back and double check those cards too. Usually, it's pretty easy to spot the autos. There's not as many cards, so... I'll go back and double check too, just to be safe, but... I don't think I missed any. I know for sure that last box didn't have any, so I know for sure we're definitely missing two there. Yeah, I don't think I missed any. It's usually pretty easy to spot the autos for the most part. stuff at Rex, do you know? Which is, what did you say where you had to buy it? Yeah, I'll double check it later, just so I can get through with the break. So there's a grocery store called El Paso. I don't know where those are at. So is that like a brand or something? It sounds familiar. It's a brand of like I think they're a brand of tortillas, no? Tortillas and like other Well, some felt weird. Other uh, Mexican food related stuff. They've got like sauces and shells and uh -oh. and like and like meat mix, taco mix oh. type stuff. Excuse me. I just bought a promo. 
Alright, I just barely did this one. Oh. I was dead the whole first few mm -hmm. hours. I think that's the one brand you told me about Rex that one time where like they they did like a cheap taco or burrito or something like that. Remember you told me about something like that? It was like a cheap one where like I thought it was that brand. Well, that's funny. So Fanatics just teamed up with old El Paso unless they own stock in it or something. That sounds like a really good deal. They must own a piece of them. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's a pocket taco. That's right, that's what you're talking about. here Matt Mervis to 150 Arizona Fall League relic I think these are one per case right Cubs going to Charles Menudo wow I actually had Menudo on Sunday pug I was feeling sick and that was like one thing that felt great for my throat because it was warm it is very weird and strange for some people because then you realize you're just eating fat. Stomach fat to be exact. You know? I think it's, I think it's stomach fat. I forget, I forget what part of the animal it is, but... <clears throat> you know, my, my dad told me at one point, you know, obviously my parents are from Mexico. Back in the day, even as early as like 20 years ago, people thought... Uh, you know, the noodle was disgusting and, and they would throw it away. Like they actually wouldn't actually even sell that part. You know, but then all of a sudden it started becoming very popular here in the States. And then all of a sudden the meats were costing a couple dollars a pound and then it went up to more. And now the noodle costs like, what, 15 bucks for a bowl? <clears throat> yeah, it's very chewy. But it's it's delicious. That's when when I when I was a kid, I used to be afraid to eat it. Like I said, you know, I thought it was weird too. I used to just really drink the soup and like my family puts like how many they put like you know the corn in there, like they do pozole. Yeah. Some parts of Mexico don't like to eat it with, with how many, but but no. I, once I got a little older, I gave it a shot and it was like the best thing ever. I I I prefer it over pozole all day every day. I think the texture is what, what creeps people out, um, but it's it's really good though. You know, you throw in a little bit of oregano, some you know chili flakes, throw in a little uh, little onions. You know, kind of spice it up. You know, it's 
cilantro and stuff like that. Ah, there you go. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin knows how to eat it. Exactly. No, it's it's delicious. It's very, very good. And like I said, I think back then a lot of people thought it was very disgusting. Um, but yeah, it's it's basically stomach beef. Yeah. So like I said, it's just basically stomach, all the, all the stomach meat. And uh, and yes, I guess it is what what you would have called it. Tripe, you googled it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like it says, it's uh, which is the stomach lining of the cow with a chewy texture very similar to that of sauteed calamari. So yeah, if you guys have tried calamari, it's basically it's kind of like that chewy texture. But no, it's it's delicious. I, I had some on Sunday. Yeah, the trash bags or? I don't know anyone. Uh, <coughs> Ooh, Dunk, yeah, that's... Ah. So you're maybe, if you pull a taco fractor, and maybe they're gonna give you a lifetime supply of El Paso. That's actually interesting. I still think they'll do something with like the MLB and like Taco Bell, but maybe that's why they partnered together with Fanatics? I mean, it's just a weird partnership, right? I mean, why the, why the hell would they partner up with them? The only logical thing could be something to do with Fanatics and Taco Fractor, the tops, or like I said, maybe they own a piece of El Paso and they're just trying to like ramp up their sales. It just doesn't make sense. Like, why them? Like, they couldn't partner up with anybody else? <clears throat> Alright, here we go, guys. So, hopefully, we have some missing autos in here, guys. Grayson Rodriguez, rookie. Number to 499. And there you go. We got a Junior Garcia green for the Dodgers. That looks very nice. Jim with the Dodgers. <coughs> Xavier Isaac. We got an Angel Cepeda. And we got a Caden Wallace. That's a red Invicta. Out of five. That's nice. That's for the Royals. One of the last three teams taken. Going to x -Line. Nice Camilo Diaz autograph. That's a tough prospect there for the Astros. Sean Maddock. There you go, man. Thanks for taking them earlier, man. And a gold, Ariel Castro for the Minnesota Twins. Trying to get some nice color. And Max Scherzer. Out of two ninety nine. I'll keep that that box separate so I can go through the other cards earlier. Whoa, Victor Asturias. Out of 199, that must be a new color. I don't think I've ever seen that color before. We got Henry Ramos for the Royals, one of the last few teams taken X line to 499. Christopher Torin. You got Vargas Refractor to 499. Iconic. And then we got a Ricardo Olivar. That's two Ray Autos right there. Rainer Rice. Out of 499. Volpe. Alright, four more boxes. Lover Paguero Green. Out of 99. And we got Anderson De Los Santos. To 75 yellow. Auras with that one. 
Zavala. Purple to 250. Rotor Garayas to 499. Gunnar Henderson. And then we got a Demetrio Crisantis. Xavier Isaac purple. <clears throat> Out of two fifty. All right, three more autos, guys. Or three more boxes, Harris. Not three more autos. Brian Acuna, Minnesota Twins. We got Yanel Laboy, Luis Guantia, Guampa, Guanipa. Luis Rice. And a 100. <laughs> Brett Wisely. For the Rays. Then we got Vladimir. For the Rockies. Speckle there to 299. All right, two more boxes, guys. So I'll double check the first couple boxes, see if I missed any autos, but it seems like we are missing a couple, unfortunately. We got Payne Williams for the Blue Jays. Zavala. Well, hopefully those magic boxes aren't like taking hits from these boxes. Because if that's the case, then this might be the reason why we're missing autos. Which sucks for the rest. They shouldn't be taking away the autos. They should just be adding them. Adon Sanchez for the Cubs refractor. And nice Jackson Holiday gold to 50. I mean, I'm all, I'm all for magic boxes. Just don't be missing stuff in other boxes. That's all I'm saying. Jacob Berry, 2199. Last box here, guys. Alex, or I'm sorry, Axel Sanchez for Seattle Purple to 250. Dylan George. We got Jacob Reimer. Under four ninety nine and Emmanuel Torero for the Pirates. We got Bobby Wood Jr. USA, USA, USA. Showtime <clears throat> out of two ninety nine. Well, that's the dream, right? <laughs> Any one of those persons. All right, let me double check the stack right here. This is the only stack I hadn't double checked. See if there's any autos I might have missed. Like I said, I don't think I missed anything, to be honest. It's kind of like a pattern. So unless they were placed in separate parts of the box, then I think we did miss a few autos, unfortunately. This was like the first couple of boxes here. Yeah, guys, it seems like we're just missing some stuff, guys, unfortunately.
All right, guys. Well, a lot of colors here to top load, right? <clears throat> so, tons of color, which is great. That's what I love about the Hobby Edition compared to HTA. <clears throat> HTA is going to give you one extra auto per box, which is cool, but <clears throat> a lot of the colors do add up. Like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So yeah, it looks like we're missing three autos, unless this counts as an auto. I don't think so though. We got out of five, so sorry about that guys. So sometimes the way it goes, but hopefully we find another case that has some more guys. Thank you guys so much, jazbeescasebreaks.com.